Why do I feel the lunge is such a powerful tool for you to be using with your clients? Well, I'm sure all of you are using a lunge in some shape or form. You probably have slightly different ways of coaching it, slightly different ways of tweaking it, but I'm sure in some shape or form, you're all using it in your coaching and conditioning programs right now. But a few points I want you to take away from today is how can we use it as maybe an assessment tool? How can we use it as a kind of almost rehabilitation tool to help clients who are in pain? So first of all, when you're assessing a client, which we're always doing with every single exercise, what kind of information could we gather from a lunge? Well, first of all, you could look at kind of how they want to sort of shift their load. How do they want to sort of use their joints? So do they want to use their ankles, their knees or their hips a little bit more? Are they more upright? Are they more forward? Neither is right or wrong, just have a look at how your client naturally wants to move. So very often when I've got a client in the first couple of sessions, I don't actually give them loads of coaching points. I certainly resist the temptation to overcoach them. I just say, have you lunged before? Brilliant, show me a lunge. And then from that, I can gather some information on how they naturally want to move. And as I said, the lunge is a really good tool for that. So I can gather some information. Based on that information, let's say they're given a little bit of pain and discomfort in their knee as they're lunging, could I start to still use that pattern because it's got a lot of meaning, it's got a lot of benefit for them, but tweak it so I can maybe take a little bit of load off their knee. So for example, they might be getting a bit of pain as they're lunging forward and they're feeling their knees working, they feel a bit stiff, a bit achy, or maybe starting to cause or trigger some issues they've had there in the past. So rather than taking a lunge out at the exercise program going, you know what, I'm not gonna to touch that, I'll do something totally different, I can tweak the lunge. So maybe I'll get someone to lunge back and start to reach forward, so start to put more lows for the kind of posterior part of the body. So more glute and hamstring focus if I get them to reach forward. What I could do, I could combine a reach forward and make it more task focused by getting them to actually pick up an object or reach for a comb. Then their brain's thinking a lot about the task and less about what's going on at the knee. That could be really beneficial. I could start to maybe lunge to the side. I could start to maybe lunge at 45 degrees. I can change it in so many different ways. I can sort of open my hip out as I lunge. I can wire my hip in as I lunge. I could play about with loads of different arm drivers. As I always say guys, there's thousands of ways to tweak movement. Something I'm a real big fan of is educating trainers into using what might seem a simple exercise like the lunge to your benefit, but even more so to the benefit of the people you work with. So what I encourage you all to, to do today is play around with the lunge, assess a client, look at how they're moving, give some variety to it and see if your variety and your, the way you're coaching the movement can help your client a little bit more. And I know if you do that, you're gonna find a lunge a really fantastic tool to help you with your coaching.